The next installment of Netflix's animated series Castlevania is on its way, and I am here to catch you up to speed on this fantastic video game adaptation. We're talking OG game trivia, a quick recap, and what we'll hopefully get to see in season two. What's up guys for Nerdwire, I'm Chris Carr, and this is Nerdflix and Chill, giving you a sip before you binge. And here's what you're gonna need to know about Castlevania in preparation for season two. Some stuff may be spoiled. It's a recap video, people, and it's like 90 minutes of your time, so if you haven't, go watch season one. The Castlevania series seems to mostly follow Konami's Castlevania III, Dracula's Curse. In the game, Trevor Belmont is traversing Europe on a quest to defeat Dracula and keep his demonic armies from destroying humanity. On his journey, he meets magician Saifa, a pirate Grant, and Dracula's son, Alucard. That's Dracula spelled backwards, y'all. They're really pushing the limits with this one. The Castlevania franchise is known for straightforward gothic storytelling, with you, the player, whipping the bejesus out of demons and vamps. And before we recap, can I just say, I love how freaking bloody and brutal this show is. It does not pull any punches. Demons stealing babies to munch on. People are brutally dismembered. People are stabbed an ass load of times. It's like the Red Wedding on crack. If gore isn't your thing, this might not be for you. We kick off the series focused on Dracula, painting him in a sympathetic light. He's not all bad. He learned to love, just like how Belle taught Beast. Only in this story, Belle is set on fire. <laughs> That's right, these kind religious folks decide that this lady is an agent of Satan, not a doctor. That's what you get for all your book learning. Forgive them, Dracula. They know not what they do. I enjoy this take. You know me, guys, I don't really enjoy evil for the sake of evil villains. So this backstory of humans burning Dracula's wife at the stake for a crime of witchcraft? Ugh, sign me up. For the story, not for burning people. That's really messed up. <laughs> Taking on the role of the true big bad, at least for season one, is the church. In the game franchise, the church asks Belmont to kill Dracula. In the anime, they definitely have more of a mustache twisting villainous role. Like I said, that first episode focuses on the unjust slaying of Dracula's wife, which the church leads. The series then spends its remaining episodes having the church stand in the way of anyone who may stop Dracula who isn't with them, as means of controlling the masses. This definitely isn't a subtle thing. Most of the priests are likened to thieves and speak as if they're hired Gotham muscle out to whack a Belmont or speaker by order of Falcone. Only instead, it's a bishop calling the shots and the stabs. After we establish that Dracula has been murdering everybody in the land, we meet Trevor Belmont. As previously stated, he's the vampire slayer from the Castlevania games. In the series, Trevor is a selfish drunk dragged down by how society views his excommunicated family. As the last of his line, he feels burdened to fulfill his bloodline's legacy, but is recalcitrant to do so. Until he's not. That would be one of my issues with the show. I know four 20-ish minute episodes isn't a lot of time to do some strong character work, but I would have liked a more nuanced progression of growth and acceptance into his destiny. My feelings aside, Trevor, when he does decide to help out his fellow man, journeys beneath the city to save one of the speakers. And oh am goodness, it's a lady. Not just any lady, this would be the aforementioned Saifa, who basically is like a mystic Elsa, but if the hype was justified. Saifa has both ice and fire powers and joins Trevor on his quest to end Dracula's attacks. Fun fact, Saifa was only revealed at the end of the game as being a woman. Even the game manual claimed Saifa was a dude. So the throwaway line of, I wish Seekers wouldn't do that. What? Dress the girls like boys. Was a great reference to the game. Also, that Cyclops fight, that's totally from the game. Seriously, fans of the game should be going bananas over this show. It has so many nods and winks to players. Ugh, I love it. Lastly, we meet Alucard, son of Dracula. He's been hibernating and healing up due to injuries he sustained while trying to stop his father from his genocidal path. And to be fair, the first season was fairly bare bones, all things considered. What I'd love to focus on is what we can hope to see in season two of the series based on the video games. We know that season two will contain eight episodes. So yay, double your view and pleasure, double your gore. Obviously, our freshly formed trio will be working together to take on Daddy Drac, so we can expect to learn a lot more about Alucard in particular this season. Richard Armitage, voice of Trevor, said recently, quote, the son of Dracula and my character get much more collaborative. I think that's one of the most exciting things. They start to really work together. In the video game Sympathy of the Night, it's revealed in flashbacks that Alucard's mother was burned at the stake, and you're actually playing the game as him. So since we already know that, maybe that'll be repurposed into flashbacks of Al's childhood? Either way, I think we can expect a lot more on screen time for Alucard. We also know from the games that Trevor isn't the last of the Belmont line. He and Sifa end up getting together. There's a reference to this in the season finale. I'm aware of the story. I'm also aware that the speakers consider the story to be information from the future. Do you know the whole story? Yes. So we can anticipate the next season showing the two's growing attraction. More than anything, what we can expect is more ass kicking, y'all. 
there are any important details I missed, definitely let me know and tell me what you're wanting out of Castlevania Season 2. For more videos, click to the left of my face or tune in on Roku. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you, Space Cowboy. Um, if Castlevania were a drink, it'd be, I don't know, something tasty. I like it. It's a good show.